Right, good day everybody. So in this video, I want to show you the effect of trade management in K2 robot, which refers to the position sizing. Okay, so how many shares do you buy on each uh, auto trade? It has an effect on your returns. Okay, so let us take a look. So in our system robot, there are system strategy as well as a custom strategy. Custom strategy is something that you can create by yourself. Like in this case, I created mine with a 2% behind. So later I will explain to you what is it about. Okay, so let's take a look at the default strategy first. Like in this video, we talk about Trend Master 38, TM38, watch this. If you click on it, you go to the trade sizing and management. What you will notice is we are using a fixed trade sizing investing between $1,000 to $2,000 of your trading account into each trade, okay? So this is the return uh, close to 300%, 297% over the last five years. Uh, by the way, this five years is a moving window five years, eh? okay? So if you have got 5,000 trading uh, account size, five, that means your trading account size is $5,000, betting, or oh, sorry, not betting, trading, Position size of $1,000 invested in one trade is like putting in 20% of your total equity into one trade. Okay, that is a huge, uh, huge number, which will result in outsized return if you are right in the stock. If you are wrong in the stock, the reverse is also true. It will have a greater effect on your trading account if you have to cut loss. Right. So what do you do with small account? Okay, what is the effect? Let us now do the sizing for Trend Master 38. I'm going to show you between using fixed trade sizing and risk per trade. So if you use risk per trade, okay, let's talk about 2%. That means every let's say you got five thousand dollars in your initial capital. So each trading size will be only one percent if you it will be one hundred dollars. So you probably can only buy one share of less than one hundred dollar stock. Anything that's above $100, effectively, you cannot buy. For example, you're talking about uh, NVIDIA, AMD, all these, right? Or, or even Tesla. Above $100, totally out. You, you can't buy, okay? So 2% is not your investor capital, but from entry price to the system stop loss price. That means if, okay, if you buy NVIDIA, right? If you buy NVIDIA, we are not going to cut loss when NVIDIA goes to zero, there will be a protective stock. If the stock starts to reverse down, reverse down enough, we realize that the, the trade is no longer valid, it's not bullish anymore. The system has a stop loss, okay, against the biggest loss, like like you need to go to zero. So we don't uh we don't take that kind of risk. So therefore, two percent. Okay, so five thousand and minimum one. Okay, $1, 5000 for your minimum trade size. Initial capital, 5000 We run through the back test for the last five years. Okay, so maximum trade per day is three. Okay, this is my setting for the back test. Feel free to play around once you have this strategy lab. Okay, then you will be able to appreciate the difference in the performance. Okay, so after I'm done, I'm going to immediately... Okay, so this is the 2% risk. You can see 2% risk, uh, you will probably achieve about 200% return in the last two years. Okay, so for the start, like first few years, right, it really didn't beat the S&P 500 until 2022 onward. It started to uh, beat the S&P 500. Draw down. Okay, how much are you risking if the strategy starts to uh, lose its sync with the market and start to have trades that is necessary to cut loss on negative 13%. Oh, that means your equity will drop by 13%. So this is important to know. A lot of people look at return and they, they just activate strategy based on the highest return ever. But if you are making 200% and your equity drawdown is 50%, 60%, then it is a lousy strategy. Okay, it's a lousy strategy. So this is what you want to pay attention to. So right now, I'm going to backtest fixed trade size. Okay, so if you have a small account like 5000 let's take a look. Let's say you are betting $1,000 to $2,000. That means effectively, you are betting about 20% of your equity size. That means your initial capital on each trading opportunity. You will see uh, the effect. Okay how 
having a small account and betting a 20% size have an effect on your trading portfolio. Okay, you can see it works very well. Okay, you have a 300% return. Okay, 300% return. Now, why is this the case? Because you are betting a bigger size. Okay, you are betting a bigger size uh, of your trading account and you also assume more risk. Can you see the equity drawdown is more than 20%. It's at 17%. Okay, so some of you may look at it, eh, okay, uh, good, uh, or it is, uh, you bet big, you win big. So in this case, uh, it is right. Oh, so let's go to the lab reports to take a look. Okay, if you go to the lab report, these are the latest two backtests that we have, we have done. So this is on the Synthrology TM38. Now you can see the profit factor for the, the 2% strategy over here. Okay, this is where my concern is, is where we reach 2% per trade. So you can see the total number of trade is more, 285 versus 155. Now, why is this the case? Because by using 2% of your 5,000, you are able to buy a trade more often because you only utilize a small amount of your trading capital. But if you use 20% of your trading capital on each trade, you are going to have lesser trade over the last five years. Okay? So although the ROI has got a big difference, uh, but if... This is provided to take all the trades since the start of the five years. So let's say you start from today, you activate the strategy and run today. You may not get into the winning stock okay, as per what had happened in the past because these are back tests. So back test is something that had happened in the past and it's expected to work well in the future, but nobody can guarantee the future results based on back tests. Right, we don't know what who's going to be the president uh, coming November, and if trend starts to change, then you can expect a lot more volatility, and then it may not start to work. So you, what you want is something that has got a lot of trades. Okay, if this makes sense to you, something that has got a lot of trades that that the re trading results, uh, the backtest results is more robust. You know that hey, this this backtest has gone through three hundred trades. Okay, and this is the kind of return I'm looking at. More realistic. This is taking a huge risk to 20% per trade. Okay, so this is how the effect is on the small account. So let us now take a look at a bigger trading account. Okay, let's say you are putting, uh, okay, 50,000 is too much. Let's say 25,000. Okay, now 25,000, I will recommend Trendmaster 100 because Trendmaster 38, the watch list only got 38 stocks. So Trendmaster 100, uh, we have more stocks, okay, more trades. Okay, remember when back test, you want to see a lot more trades because then only you can trust the data. So I'm gonna use risk per trade two percent, and uh, I I'll put just put one dollar because basically I want to take any amount of uh. Hey, why my trade seventy five percent? Uh, seventy five thousand. Okay, I'm just gonna use twenty five thousand over here. I'm gonna use twenty five thousand over here. Okay, I I leave this alone. Trend Master 100, watch this EM 100, five years, let's go. Okay. okay, this one, I think we can run all the way to eight. eight. Okay, so this back test is on the fixed size. Is this on the fixed size sheet? I forgot. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Is it on the fixed size? No, it's on the 2%. Okay, great, 2%. So 2%, uh, it is two hundred eighty-six 286% return, and you can see you have a huge drawdown of 20% during the COVID plunge. Okay, otherwise, the worst in 2022 during the war is about 14%. Okay, 14%. Now, again, I stress it's important to understand the equity drawdown. No strategy can win 100%. There will be time when the strategy is going to underperform. All right, so this is the worst in the Ukraine world. And the total number of trades, we have 468. Very good, solid number of uh, trading results to base on. Okay, so this is for the 2% rule. Let us now go back and I'm gonna change this to the fixed size. Okay, with the fixed size, okay, uh, okay we have 25,000, 25,000, let's say we do uh, 10%, let me 2,005. So minimum, uh, we are going to invest $2,500 into the stock. And then eight twenty five thousand also should be five thousand twenty percent. We follow the TM thirty eight earlier on. Uh, maximum trade size. Mm, let's put seven thousand. Okay, seven thousand. So basically, we want to restrict the 
trade size of each trading setup at 20% of the trading capital. Okay, so this is the five years. Let's run the test. Okay, waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay, so it's done. So you see, we have lesser trade, 182 trades, and the performance. Okay, I cannot remember what was the earlier performance. Okay, drawdown is about the same. Okay, yeah. We can always come to the lab reports and then we can refer. So the trading performance, uh, our return right is close to 280% for both. Okay. Profit, profit factor is quite close. It's just one point difference. And the number of trades, again, the number of trades. Now, it is important if you want to use a strategy, you want to see a lot more trade backtested. Then the result is more robust. Okay, so 468 versus 182. Okay, win rate 95%. Okay, so this is the effect for big account and small account. So let me give you a summary. Why this video? Okay, because there are some users who, whose funding size of the trading account when using K2 Robot is below 5,000. Some of them are hitting 20% uh, return. Some of them are not, okay? Let me uh, pull out the statistic uh, to show you. Just give me one moment. Uh. Okay, I'm back, guys. So this is the back end uh, report of all our users using the robot. As you can see, 83% of the users are profitable. Now, what I want to show you is the small account. Okay, so if you take a look at tier two, so these are all the small account users who funded less than uh, $5,000. So, and this is the effect. Okay, some of them achieved double digit growth, okay, while some of them struggled to make a profit. Now, why is this so? It is because the number of trades, as you can see, if you are only basing on a small number of trades like 182 and 155 for different strategy, on a 20%, okay, 20% uh, investment, okay, not investment, 20% position sizing for each trade, okay, you may get it right in some trade and you may get it wrong in some trade. Total, you can only hold only five stocks. So it is not diversified enough to give you a, a, a better robust performance. Because if you take a look at user who has, a, okay, let's take a look at the middle premium tier, okay? Premium tier, you can see a lot more of them are making money profitable. Why? Because they are able to take on more uh, trading sites. Okay, they are not trading sites. They are able to take on more uh, positions. Okay, stocks, unrealized gain in their portfolio. Okay, so that is the reason why if you run a small account, it is important for you to set it at 2% so that you'll be able to take more trades versus set it at 20%. Now, a lot of our users are using the default strategy. Okay, so both the default strategy, if you click into it, you can see that they are investing between $1,000 to $2,000 per trade. Okay, so if you have a $10,000 account, every trade you are investing 10% of your uh, account equity. So you can max only have about nine stocks and then you're done. Okay, but if you have a $20,000 account, can you imagine every trade is investing about 1,000? So you probably will have about 16, 17 stocks in your portfolio. That will give you a very well diversified uh, performance. Uh, so, okay, not diversified performance, but diversified portfolio, which will uh, defray the risk. Okay, that means no concentrated risk in one or two stocks. Okay, and then you have a very uh, well-rounded performance, I would say, the ROI. Also, this is how you can use the strategy lab okay, to define your trading size okay, and management. Now, just now I say I want to explain to you what I did with mine. Okay, basically, uh, I want to use TM100, but I do not want to use the position size of $1,000 because the trading size of my account is bigger at about fifteen or $16,000. So what, what I want to do is to make use of the percentage. Okay, make use of the percentage. So what I did was to change it to 2%. Okay, change it to 2% and then uh, highlight $1 and then 15000 so that I can have uh, more trades for my trading account and then have a very robust uh, performance. Okay, so how I do it? Very simple. Go to Treasury Lab. There's Trend Master 100, Trend Master 38. 
Okay, bigger accounts use Trend Master 100, uh, remember? Smaller accounts use Trend Master 38. Now, the rest of strategy is not that it cannot be used. It can, but they are not my forte. So you can go ahead and play around with the parameters and, and uh, create your own robot to trade. Okay? So all you need to do, go to Trend Master 100, uh, risk per trade. Uh, so this is how I set two. And then this is a uh, minimum trade size. I put one. Uh, this will be my account size, 15,000. Uh, after last night rally, or oh, it's close to sixteen thousand really. So I put sixteen thousand over here. Okay. Now uh, this is how you do it. Then you run the test. Okay. After you run the test, you can then activate it. Okay. So this is the performance, close to three hundred percent ROI. Okay. And you click save strategy to dashboard. Okay. Click save strategy and give it a name. So this one I will put uh own pick. Okay, own pick just for the demo purposes. Okay, so you please read the system message and it's telling you how the robot trade and what are the conditions. So after you click okay, you go back to your system robot, give it three seconds, it will load up. Okay, and then if you want to activate it, you click on the button on the right over here to activate it. Right, then it will follow your percentage risk per trade. Okay, so this is how it works. Uh, if you've got any question, leave it at the comments field and uh, I will help to answer, to clarify any doubts you have okay, so that you can use the robot efficiently. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much.